So we're delving into the nitty gritty now, the rebellion of Tostig. What happened in the rebellion of Tostig? Well, let me tell you, I'll just mute that. Um, so <clears throat> the Godwin family, as you might remember from when we did about the big story, was a very powerful family in England at this time. And what we're talking about now is just before 1066, before Edward the Confessor dies. So Edward the Confessor is king of England. The second most powerful person is Harold Godwinson, the eldest God of the Godwins, or the Godwinsons. Um, and his slightly younger brother is Tostig. Now, Harold Godwinson is Earl of Wessex. Tostig is Earl of Northumbria, which is where we are. You know, we're in Yorkshire, but at that time when things are divided into three, we're like Rosset would have been in the earldom of Northumbria. And Northumbria does not like Tostig being Earl of Northumbria. The part of the reason is this, because he's a southerner, so he's an outsider. Part of the reason is because the north was a bit of a law unto itself. It did what it wanted. There was, like the blood feuds, if you remember from law and order, were more likely to happen in Northumbria than anywhere else. And Tostig came in to sort it out. And obviously people don't like that. Um, and furthermore, Tostig spent most of his time in London, um, which really annoyed the, the people in the north who thought Tostig should be around if he's going to be the Earl. Um, so they didn't like his laws, they didn't like that he wasn't there, they generally just didn't want him. They wanted, any, they wanted somebody else, and there was somebody around who they could look to. And they chose somebody called Morcar. Now, you'll get used to him as the rest of this story plays out. Um, but Morcar's brother was an earl. Morcar wasn't, but his brother Edwin was an earl. So the people of Northumbria rebelled against Tostig. They killed some of his officials and they, they declared that Morcar was who they wanted to be earl of Northumbria. So King Edward has got a bit of a choice on his hands. Does he go in and sort out the rebels? Or does he leave Tostig to his fate? And, and refuses to help him, and instead supports Morcar as the new Earl. Um, and, and what Edward did is he sent Harold Godwinson to go and sort it out. Um, and so you might think, well, it's his brother, so he's going to side with Tostig and uh, sort the rebels out. But actually, Edward was old. He was getting really old, tired, sick all the time, and he wasn't far from dying. Who wants to be king? Harold Godwinson. So you can imagine Harold Godwinson going up to the north and thinking, oh God, what am I going to do? This is my brother. If I support my brother, then there might be a rebellion and that's going to weaken England. I need the whole of the country behind me if I'm going to be king because I know other people are going to come and try and take that crown. But then if I side with the rebels, that's my own brother. So he's got to choose. Harold Godwinson has got to choose whether he sides with his brother because he's his brother, or with the people of Northumbria, and that means he'll have them all behind him if he takes the throne. And so Harold Godwinson decides to turn his back on his own brother. And he goes back to London and he advises Edward, look, you need to side with the rebels here, not with Tostig. Um, and so that's what they do. They side with the rebels. Morcar becomes Earl of Northumbria, and Tostig has to leave the country. Now, that's that's all well and good, and you might think that's over, but Tostig, imagine he'd be like furious, spitting feathers, my own brother turned against me, the king turned against me, I was his favourite, which is true, according to the sources, and I, they've left me, they've kicked me out of this country, I will have revenge. And Tostig goes to other people in Europe and starts to plant the idea, why don't you invade England? When Edward dies, you should be king. And eventually he finds somebody who's willing to listen. And, and we'll come to that later in the course, but the person he, he finds willing to listen is the Viking king, Harold Hardrada. And you know that he invades probably from doing history early on. So yeah, if I summarize, Tostig, Earl of Northumbria, very disliked. So the people of Northumbria rebel and Edward and Harold Godwinson have a decision to make. They choose to side with the rebels instead of Tostig, so Tostig is kicked out. Morcar is the new Earl, but Tostig goes away to plot his revenge. 
And that is the story of the rising of Tostig.